What's up guys, it's Dexter here and I want to talk about the cards that have been revealed for Ashes of Outland so far. Just going to be looking at the Play Hearthstone website right here. They have a really nice layout and uh, we have a two mana rogue secret ambush. So after your opponent plays a minion, you summon a 2-3 ambusher with poisonous. So you'll be able to clear whatever minion they play the the following turn right they'll summon something it'll pop your your ambush and then uh, the, the next turn you can just clear it with this so uh it'll be strong late game it'll be pretty good early game maybe you can get some value trades uh overall pretty solid but i'm mostly excited about them adding some new secrets to rogue that's that's really really cool uh we have scavengers ingenuity here um two mana hunter spell where you will uh draw a beast and give it plus three plus three that's it's pretty good it's targeted draw which is always better than random draw unless of course you don't have any beasts in your deck but um choosing something in particular giving it plus three plus three uh seems like a pretty good deal that's that's a huge buff if you do this and you draw into a three mana card the next turn is going to be just it's going to be pretty big we've got fungal fortunes here two mana druid spell where you draw three cards and you discard any minions drawn uh kind of similar to to book of specters but book of specters discards spells right um, book of specters has always seen a lot of play and uh this seems pretty good assuming we get uh, more druid spells right now most druid decks are pretty minion heavy so maybe this won't see too much play in current archetypes but perhaps there's a new archetype um, that's a little more spell based we got Kael'thas Sunstrider, which is going to be available to everyone today and uh, for free. So that's pretty cool. Six mana, four, seven, neutral, legendary, where every third spell you cast each turn costs zero. And I imagine, you know, it, it resets one, two, and then the third is free. And then one, two, the third is free. So if this sticks for one turn and maybe you're some sort of cyclone mage, you could really pop off, do some crazy stuff. Or maybe it's turn eight, you just play this with a couple Ray of Frost and then a Power of Creation. Um, maybe you're using it in, I don't know, maybe Shaman. You use this, a couple Zaps, and then that new 10 mana spell. Um, it seems like it's going to get value, and this is a threat that your opponent will be forced to remove. It does have a lot of health, so it might be awkward for your opponent to remove it. And um, yeah, I, I think it's a pretty decent card, and if it is the third spell every time, like a Cyclone Mage, this would find a nice home right there. That'd be pretty sick. Uh, we've got Spectral Sight, which is a Demon Hunter card, a two-mana spell where you draw a card, and if it's outcast, you draw another. So outcast is if it's far left or far right in your in your hand, um, which is a really cool mechanic because you can kind of you can plan how you want to play your cards. Uh, but this is two mana draw one, but you're probably usually gonna play it when it's two mana draw two, which is really good. Arcane intellect is three mana draw two, and that sees some play. So two mana draw two just seems fantastic. But if it's if it's not outcast, it's pretty meh as a two mana draw one almost like a i don't know a delayed or, or an instant loot hoarder but you know no no minion on the board so it's probably going to see play but you want to play it as outcast we got furious felfin a two mana three two murloc with the battle cry if your hero attacked this turn gain one attack and rush so worst case scenario you use uh use this on three mana or not worst case, but a, a case is uh, you got three mana, you use your Demon Hunter hero power, you slap something, and then this becomes a 4-2 with Rush. Um, pretty good, right? Pretty solid. If if you have, uh, what is it, the, the dual strike or something? Twin strike? Uh, the zero mana one? The zero mana card where you, uh, you, you get plus one attack. You can use this in combination with that. And then it's just a two mana four two, which is super aggressive, super strong. Also could be defensive if you're just trying to remove something. So I think this card will see a decent amount of play. We got Pit Commander, a nine mana seven nine demon for Demon Hunter with, uh, with Taunt. And at the end of your turn, you summon a demon from your deck. Uh, seems really, really good. If you're not summoning, you know, smaller minions, I don't think we've seen many demons yet. But if there are larger demons, this would be great. If you're pulling small stuff, not so good. So maybe there's going to be some sort of big demon hunter. That would be super, super cool. But with what we've seen so far, this looks 
like it's not gonna see any play. So we need to see more cards before this gets, um, you know, some some actual value to it. But as a nine mana seven nine, it's got decent stats. It's got taunts, and it might maybe. I mean, if it pulls itself, that'd be pretty sick, right? Nine mana pull two seven nines with taunt. That's pretty good. Okay, Terran Gorfiend. Oh my god, this is a legendary neutral three mana three four. Uh, super, super good. Just says, you know, the stat line is great. And then the battle cry, destroy all friendly minions, and you resummon them with plus one, plus one. So the first thing that comes to mind for me is using this in uh, a hunter deck with like Unleash the Hounds or Swarm of Locusts. Also, I think there are some demon hunter cards, which this is going to be just insanely powerful with. Um, and also, if you just value trade with some of your minions and you want to resummon them you know get their health back up you, you kill them you resummon them with plus one plus one or if you're using this with death rattle minions this just seems like it's going to be a card that is played in a lot of decks i haven't given anything like a rating out of five yet but i'm going to say this is like already like a five out of five card um, i'll give the other cards ratings at the end i think maybe we've got the bulwark of azanoth a three mana one for a warrior weapon weapon it's a it's it goes in your weapon slot but it's it's a shield a very iconic uh, shield here from world of warcraft but whenever your hero would take damage this loses one durability instead so this is really really cool especially if you're just taking big damage and not a lot of it um, if your opponent's like a tokeny sort of thing this this is going to go by really really quickly still strong though um and if your opponent's just like something like a big druid they're doing nine damage at a time, just losing a durability instead of nine health. This is insanely good. Uh, yeah, I really like this card. I feel like it's probably going to be a staple in most warrior decks that aren't like aggro-y. Uh, Archspore Meshiffin, uh, three mana, three, four, prime. Can I hover this? Okay, yeah. So uh, we got the three mana, three, four with taunts. That's solid, solid body, and it has taunt, so that's great. And then you shuffle Meshiffin Prime. And Meshiffin Prime just seems absolutely bonkers, right? A 10 mana 9-9 with Taunt. And you summon a 9-9 Fungal Giant with Taunt or Rush. So 10 mana and you get 18-18 worth of stats with Taunt on the board. Or 18-18 worth of stats. Um, half of it has Taunt, half of it has Rush. So um, I don't see why you wouldn't run this in any Druid that is not you know, uh, aggro. Maybe you don't want an aggro. 3-3-4 three, three, isn't bad in aggro, but um, I don't know if you, you want a 10 mana 18-18 worth of stats. It might just be too slow, depending on how the rest of the deck is. But uh, Meshiffin just seems nuts. I assume all the prime cards are going to be really, really good, hopefully. Uh, Imprison Satter here, 3 mana 3-3 three, three, Demon. Dormant for two turns. When this awakens, reduce the cost of a random minion in your hand by five. So you play it and it does nothing for two turns, which is going to be a bit of a struggle against aggro decks, but maybe uh, similar to Quest Druid, where people, I think off the bat, people thought Quest Druid would be bad because uh, you're floating a mana for four turns or whatever, and you're doing nothing on turn one. But that in, ended up being insane, right? So I think the Dormant's in a similar vein, where people are going to think the cards aren't great. But uh, let's say you have a bunch of taunts and you just have a couple satyrs. You play the satyr, it hits, I don't know, a massive taunt in your hand. I can't think of one. Um, I don't know. Living Monument, for example. That's a terrible example. But your Living Monument ends up being a 5 mana 10 10 with taunts, right? So you play this, it does nothing on turn three. You get hit in the face by your opponent's board. On turn four, you play a little something. Yeah, you get hit in the face again. But then on turn five, boom, you just slam down a massive minion, maybe something with a battle cry. Maybe it's not a living monument, but um, I could see this being a good card. Kind of similar to what the Florist. The Florist was seven mana with a 4-4 four, four body. Also, it's a demon, so it can get sack packed, which I think is actually a huge issue. Sack packed, like Warlock's going to be busted, isn't it? With all these demons. Okay, we got Dark Portal, a four mana Warlock spell where you draw a minion, and if you have at least eight cards in your hand, it costs five less so they're really uh going for that hand lock sort of feel um this is targeted draw so it's gonna hit a minion so maybe like a big block which is pretty cool uh, i don't think you're gonna want to run little minions but uh, maybe there's just gonna be some sort of 
big warlock, which seems uh, seems awesome and seems like quite a possibility. Uh, Mountain Giant is getting Hall of Famed, right? So that is a big hit to uh, to handlock. But even this pulling like a Twilight Drake, you spend a, a f you spend four mana, you draw it, and you get to play it. I guess it ends up just being it's almost like having Twilight Drake in your hand, but you're thinning out your deck a little bit. But if you pull something a little bit larger, it's going to be great value, right? Uh, so uh, pretty, pretty cool, pretty decent. You do have that requirement of having at least eight cards in your hand. So yeah, I mean, you're getting one free mana and thinning out your deck is essentially what this card is doing. Not too crazy, but uh, might be fun to mess around with in hand lock. We got Imprisoned Observer here, a three mana, four, five demon. It's got those great stats, but it is dormant. So dormant for two turns when this awakens, deal two damage to all enemy minions. Only enemy minions. Really, really good, right? Mage needs a little more AOE, I guess. So we got, uh, we got this. So you play it on three, it does nothing, and it ends up being really awkward for the opponent because they know, oh, when this wakes up, all my minions are going to die. So maybe they just start playing awkwardly. They don't want to play things with, with two or less health, right? And you can develop your board on, on turn four. I guess they'll end up trading into it because this, yeah, this does damage only to enemy minions. This seems really good. Again, Sacked Pact, it, it's scaring me. Sacked Pact is going to destroy all these demons. Uh, they got to do something about Sack Pact, right? This seems like a super solid minion. Uh, Lady Vash, I think I'm saying that right. Uh, it's a, this is a prime card, right? Three mana, four, three. Spell damage plus one, shaman card. Uh, Death Rider Shuffle, uh, Vash Prime into your deck. Uh, so Vash Prime is a seven mana, five, four. They give you spell damage plus one and battle cry draw three spells, reduce their cost by three. Um, pretty good assuming you have expensive spells in your deck. If this ends up pulling like zaps, lightning bolts, um, it's not going to be great. So maybe in some sort of slower shaman deck, I can't really, maybe, maybe some sort of Maligos. Oh, what if, it, is Eureka still going to be in? I don't even know. That might be cool. Pulling like Eurekas and Lava Bursts and uh, stuff like that. That might be fun. Um, but I don't remember what set eureka's from so maybe maybe never mind maybe wild i don't know but it seems solid drawing three cards and reducing their cost by three is very good um, maybe if you're just some sort of control shaman and you're just pulling like your earthquakes your your Hagatha schemes your hexes uh still going to be a solid solid card very strong all the prime cards seem really good and i imagine you're probably going to want to play this in most shaman decks aside from maybe agro we token stuff but at the same time pulling like bloodlust for, at a discount is huge as well okay another prime we got cargath blade fist four mana four four this is the warrior one has rush and the death rattle Carga shuffle cargath prime into your deck so four mana four four with rush not bad um core crown elite four mana four three with with charge uh, so that can go face this one not so much but it does have a really nice amount of health for a rush card and then cargath prime also has rush eight mana and when it kills a minion gain 10 armor that is insane that is so so good oh my god okay yeah that's so good i this is gonna go in like all control decks even even aggro decks maybe not I don't, it seems like the the meta is gonna shift to a more of a uh maybe mid-rangey or control meta I haven't seen too many aggro cards or at least the the prime cards so far right maybe i'm not thinking of one i already saw uh demon hunter does seem to be a bit aggressive though we got metamorphosis here Five mana legendary spell where you swap your hero power to deal five damage after two uses, swap it back. So it's um, it's going to do, uh, in, instead of giving you a plus one attack and you slap something, it's going to be like a fireball ping, but instead it does lava burst amount of damage. Five damage, right, from the, uh, from the ping. Get to use it twice. So it's not for the next two turns, it's for the next two uses. So you can cast this on five and not use it. Use it turn six and use it turn nine it's up to you but uh, it seems really really strong um it's pyroblast over a couple turns so very aggressive and um i'm glad this isn't epic because it seems like it's pretty busted i think this is like a five out of five card i think you run this in aggro and you'd run this in control as well um war Gla war war glaives of azanoth five mana three four um after attacking a minion your hero may attack again so kind of like uh, the foe, what, what, what's, the foe, what's that card? The, the, the warrior one. Fool's Bane. Is that what it's called? I don't know. But it can slap a bunch of minions um, but couldn't hit face. This one can hit face. And you have to keep in mind, 
you can attack again and with the demon hunter hero power which is one more mana uh, this will have four attack right for that turn so this is turn six it's 16 damage but you know hits minions can hit face once but it has to hit a minion um, in order to be able to attack again. Skull of Gul'dan. Um, five mana. Demon Hunter spell. Draw three cards out. Cast. Reduce their cost by three. Okay, this. Okay, okay. Nourish. Nourish used to be five mana, I think, right? And um, it would either give you draw three or it would give you two mana crystals. And it was used often as a five mana draw three, which wasn't terrible. Arcan Intellect, three mana, draw two. Spending two more mana, drawing one more. With, with the upside of this outcast here, where you reduce their cost by three, which is absolutely insane. If you're an aggro deck, you run out of cards, you top deck this thing, you are going to be so happy because you draw three cards, their costs are reduced by three, and you get to refill the board. So I think this is uh, pretty dang busted, especially as a card that you top deck. So in, in aggro, this, this is good, man. This is good. Wait, is that it? Was that all the cards? Oh my god. Okay, we did all the cards. That was that was pretty quick, no? Um, well, uh, thanks thanks for watching, guys. Uh I'm excited for this set, really excited. Uh the fact that they added a new class, something that people thought they would never do, is um it's just it's it's amazing. It's got me pretty hyped. I hope you guys are hyped as well. Um maybe I'll do some star reviews right now at the end of this. Good luck on ladder, stay hydrated.